We have two teenagers living at home. They're great kids, they never get into trouble, but maybe their friends aren't so innocent. Anyone who's had a teenager or who's been a teenager knows that sometimes an unlocked liquor cabinet can be tempting to that age group. In today's video, you're going to find out how I protected Fort Schnapps. <laughs> So personally, I'm not a fan of secret surveillance, so this project is not a covert operation. The point of the project is to trust but verify the security of the liquor cabinet. And it's an excuse to add a new project and indulge my smart home obsession. The tools I use for this project are a video camera, a motion sensor, a text messaging system, a Google Home Mini speaker, a rules engine, and a warning sign. Okay, with the system in place, here's how it works. Whenever the liquor cabinet is opened, the motion sensor detects the motion of the person opening the cabinet door. At that moment, an alert is sent to the home automation system and a text message is sent to me telling me the liquor cabinet was opened. At the same time, the camera records the motion event and that can be reviewed using their mobile app. As I stated previously, in the spirit of transparency and innocent door opening, there's a big sign placed inside the cabinet door. The person opening it can read the sign, stating that this is a surveilled area and they're being recorded. The motion sensor in the cabinet is a Zeus ZSE11. It's connected through Z-Wave to a Samsung SmartThings home. Then I wrote a custom Samsung application a while ago to talk to all, all my Z-Wave SmartThings items, including the motion sensors. And then that talks to my homegrown home automation system. The home automation system has an actions feature where I can make custom actions that occur periodically throughout the day. And in this case, the rules in the actions page tell it to uh, send me the text message whenever the door is opened. And also, there's another rule that sets the parameters of talking to the Google Home Mini at those hours of the night when the motion is sensed. I'm using Twilio to send the SMS text messages. Um, I don't send enough messages right now to even use up the trial number they give you when you first start, so for right now I'm not paying any money for the text messaging. I used a project I found on GitHub called Google Home Push. This project allows me to send text to speech messages to the Google Home speaker. I use it not only for this project, but for my alarm system as well. The camera I'm using is called a Tekken security detection model. It's cheap and it's nice, but it doesn't allow me to do anything special with the home automation to grab the stream. But it has a 128 meg SD card I got for $5 on Amazon. Um, I did have to format it as XFAT. And which is kind of tricky on a Mac, but anyway, it records events with uh, times and dates, so it's easy to match with the uh, alert from the text message. A couple nights ago, I was eating dinner with a friend when the text came in stating that the liquor cabinet door was opened. When I checked the camera, I saw my wife showing the system to my daughter. Later on, I asked her about it, and she said that they also heard the warning because it was after 10 p.m. So now we can all sleep better at night knowing that Fort Schnapps is well protected. <laughs> if you are under 21, please do not access the liquor cabinet. 